Okay, today I am making bread for the first time, and this is my little video. Oh, pour me another drink and punch me in the face. You can call me Nancy. Every man wears a symbol, and I know I have mine. I've got my right hand stamp. I also recently got a bread hook, so like a little dough hook situation, because I'm really, really bad at kneading my own bread. So I decided that I was going to get one of these things, um, so that my bread will actually turn out better because. I just do not have the strength nor the patience to knead my own bread. Kudos to people who know how to do that, but I honestly just, that's like the worst part of the bread baking process for me. Just a couple states below. like a random intermission in between my bread baking oh my god so i'm walking the dog right now while the bread is kind of just sitting and getting a little bit more proofed um so i put it in the oven covered it with a towel in the KitchenAid mixer stand and then when i get back in about which will be about 45 minutes oh my god i will do one more stretch and fold of the dough and then i'll go to work and let it sit for another two hours and then after that two hour mark, I'll probably get it prepped and ready to be in the oven to be baked for tonight. So, but for now, we're just finishing off our walk. Most of Southern Ontario has just been gray um, and it's just not fun. It is not fun. Honestly, like I feel it so much. Like I love a little bit of sunshine here and there. Honestly, it's just like, I feel like most of Southern Ontario just wants to see a little bit of snow because even if it's gray, if there's at least snow on the ground, then it ends up being like brighter and you just feel more awake but I've been so exhausted because there has been no snow there's been no sunlight there's been no like general lightness to the atmosphere it's been like this for weeks and you kind of just have to compensate with vitamin d but I don't really find that that makes that much of a difference in my mood anyway but it does make for a good atmosphere for baking in the winter because it's just a good vibe to turn the oven on when it's cold and gray, gray out and have a cup of tea and just make some baked goods whatever that looks like whether it be bread or just pastries in general or cookies or whatever but yeah so we're gonna head back now and then get set up for the rest of the day okay so that's what she's looking like right now back from the walk He's here because he wants to smell the bread. It smells really good. So we're gonna do one more round of stretch and fold and then this is gonna rest for two hours in the oven again, just covered. Um, not on obviously, just off oven. And then um, after that's done, then it will be ready for the baking. So, but right now it's just trying to get all the gluten nice and strong. And just as you can see, because it's not like ripping like this, it's kind of like pizza doughy. Like that means that the gluten is pretty good. This guy obviously is very interested in 
my bread. So I'm just gonna do one more when it's stretching cold and then put it back in. Okay, so we're back from work and my bread is finished. It's two hour proof. Um, and then I'm gonna put it into a bread proofing basket in about 10 seconds, but I need to make another cup of tea before I start like scoring my bread and just kind of sorting it out and getting my things together. And then I'm going out for dinner tonight, so I gotta finish everything before I go out. But nonetheless, another cup of tea because you can't bake without a cup of tea and you also cannot bake if you're an Irish girl without a cup of tea, which I am. So another one of these Royal Blend Fortnum and Mason teas. My dad is gonna be like, um, you bought me these teas for Christmas and yet you're the one who's drinking them, which whatever, here's my mom. Are you coming mom to be in my video? She's watched my baking circumstances blossom over the last year, correct? It's been fabulous. It's been so fabulous. And here's Melanie. Come here. What? Come here. What's this? Up, up. Here he is. Good boy. So sad. And gone. <laughs> so sad, here. But it's fine. He, his paws are dirty, but they are dirty with love. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Um, Brett is looking pretty good right now. This is what she's like. Very stretched out, grown out, all that good stuff. So I'm going to put some flour over the um, counter space. We're going to do a little bit of stretching and folding. And then she is going to sit in her Bennington basket, which I'll show you. These are from Ballerina Farm. I got myself for Christmas, the Ballerina Farm sourdough kit, which I talked about earlier, which actually has to feed my starter in about 10 seconds. But these are like little like bread baskets that you put your bread in after you finish like proofing it. And it kind of just sits in here. Comes with um, a little stir stick for your bread um, starter. And like instructions, obviously how to make bread. And one of these um, scrapers, bench scrapers. But I don't really need a bench scraper for this because it's a small loaf. So we will be doing that. And then I'm using a little Dutch oven by Le Creuset, which I also got for Christmas, which I'm really excited about because Le Creuset is a really, really wonderful brand for kitchenware and it fits my parents aesthetic i'm pretty sure they bought it for themselves but i'm going to be using it a ton for all of the bread that i'm going to be baking over the next couple of weeks so yeah we can start into making the recipe mm -hmm. oh, sound so it doesn't really matter i'm just going to be showing the bread process is that kneading no this is pushing and folding so it just like builds tension in the loaf I'll tell you what brings attention. <laughs> My ass being a fucking mess. Okay. Ladies, moms around Christmas, if we weren't here, oh, guess what? Again. So sanitary, as we bake bread, our little lovely doggo comes into the fold and <laughs> participates because he also. Oh, and he also likes to sniff butt. So you like this is at the bottom though, because then you have to like, you tuck and push it away. I know what I need tucked and pushed away. Okay, girl. <laughs> She's on her comedy special right now. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> after we finish cooking and cleaning for two weeks, I think we all I don't know if anybody's actually watching. She's this. gonna make the bread, which we're gonna have in the mornings with our lattes. You might just be speaking into the void. I don't care. People will love it. People will love watching me make. People will love the authenticity of Artisan. Ooh. Tuck. She's Fold. Tuck, fold, keeps going. sourdough starter which is like the Willa sourdough starter from uh, Ballerina Farm. I started it last night. It comes in like a dehydrated packet and then you have to like rehydrate it. Um, smells so good and it comes with a little like recipe book right here which like gives you like a full recipe of how to make the sourdough like once you rehydrate the starter and then also like how to make starter in general. So today I have to do um, I need a bigger jar. Where the heck is my bigger jar? Here it is. So I have a bigger one quart jar. This is a smaller jar, but whatever. And I need to do, transport 10 grams of sourdough starter mixture from this into the clean jar and discard the remaining mixture from the old jar. 
so I need to use 10 grams. So we're gonna have to get the scale out, which our scale is a little bit finicky, and then I'm gonna measure out what I need to do for rehydrating it. design that I did on the bread and then we're gonna go pop this in the oven now. So I think the bread is done. This is what she looks like after, you know, all the baking. I tried to do some little like stalks. This one turned out okay. This one, I don't know what the hell happened there. And then this just looks like a rip. But honestly, it's fine. 